Hi there, and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to make a blabber, and a blabber is made on the website blabberize.com. Before we go to that website, we need to find an image to work with. I'm going to go to my iPhoto library to find an image. When you are looking for an image to make a blabber with, you want to make sure that the mouth is a pretty good size. I'm going to choose this image of my son because the mouth is a pretty good size. Even though this one over here is cute, it is a very teeny mouth over here, so I'm not going to choose that. When you've chosen an image, drag and drop it onto your desktop. It'll make it a lot easier for you later on to find it. So now that I've done that, I'm going to minimize iPhoto, and I am going to go to blabberize.com. Blabberize.com will work with any internet application. I prefer Firefox, but you can use Safari or Internet Explorer, whichever one you would like. I'm going to click on Firefox and there is blabberize.com. When you first go to the website, you will see a picture of a llama where they've already made a blabber, so I'm going to click on that so you can see what it looks like. Welcome to blabberize.com, the only internet site that you can upload a picture. So as you saw, a blabber has the mouth moving where somebody is speaking in the background. So we are going to make a blabber. I'm going to scroll down to the middle and there is a tab for make, browse, or my stuff. Make you would click on to make your own blabber. We're, we're not going to click on that. We're actually going to log in first. Browse would be to look through other people's blabbers. And my stuff would be with your, where you could go and look at your blabbers that you have previously made. Instead of going through this one, well, let's go ahead and log in or sign up. If you have never signed up before, this would be a great time for you to sign up. It is free. It's really easy to do. You select a username. You write in your email pass, your email and your email address, and create a password. And then you click sign up. I've already done that, so I'm going to go over to the login, and I'm going to click login. When you log in, the middle screen, if you have made blabbers before, will be located right there. I'm going to scroll down. If you look, this Things tab is a lighter green than the other one. And, and Things I Made is what is showing up in the middle. You could click on Things I Deleted. And these are our blabbers that I have deleted before. It's really nice to have just in case you accidentally deleted something you didn't mean to. And Things are I Like. Are blabbers that you like. They could be your own or they could be other people's that you just found really interesting and you wanted to be able to go back to and look at again at a later time. The info under me has got your username that's displayed, a little bit about yourself if you want to, and your email address, and then your password. If you ever change these, make sure you click change personal info or change password. And then this is the premium tab. I do not have a premium membership, so underneath my premium tabs, those are empty. If you want to update it, you get a little bit more um, bang for your buck, I guess. But I've always found that the basic one works just fine for me with what I like to do with Blabber. And then down here is the friends tab. If you have friends located on Blabber that you have maybe really enjoyed watching their Blabbers, this is where you can click on and go and see if they've made any new ones. This tab are people that have requested to be your friends, and this tab is the friendships that you have requested. So let's get started on making a blabber. I'm scrolling back up to the top. Now I'm going to click on Make. When you click on Make, you are prompted to find a picture. I'm going to click Browse, and I'm looking on my desktop and this is the image that I downloaded from my iPhoto library and I'm going to upload it now onto the website. Just a reminder, make sure when you are uploading an image you have permission to work with it. Do not get yourself in trouble with any type of copyright laws. So I'm going to click open and there is my picture. If you look around the picture you have these little pink dots and this is where you can crop the picture to get rid of any background that you don't like. Maybe there's another person on there that you don't really want to have on your picture for your blabber. So you can just go ahead and crop off as much as you need. And what you're going to notice with the blabber site is this blue arrow is how you progress through the steps. So I'm going to click the blue arrow. When you click the blue arrow, you notice that my picture has been cropped and this red circle has shown up. 
this is going to be the mouth. So I'm going to drag it down here. I'm going to put it down a little bit towards the bottom. And then you use the circles to start making the shape of the mouth. And you want it to get, I don't know, fairly close to the actual size of the mouth. And you just kind of do that by playing around with all of these little circles. Let's say as you're playing around, you realize that you have just totally messed up and you don't like it at all. I'm going to scroll down. You have these buttons down here. So let's say I do not like the way that the mouth is made. I would click Remove Selected Mouth and that mouth goes away. And then I could click on Add a Mouth and you get to start over again. So I'm going to start over and I'm just really quickly going to make my mouth. And you know, you just kind of get faster, I guess, as you progress through. It doesn't have to be totally perfect just as you know that that looks pretty close to me so I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to click the blue arrow and now you're going to decide what kind of sound you want to have for your blabber the first one is record from your microphone and this is the one that I choose you just speak directly into your microphone and it automatically uploads to the website you can also upload something that you've already recorded maybe you've recorded something through GarageBand and you want to do it that way and it will upload it to that site and it will sync it in with your picture and it will look pretty good. Or you can actually call in to the Blabberize website and you can record it that way. But the easiest way that I've found is recording from your microphone. So I'm going to click record from your microphone and it's connecting in. I'm going to allow that one. And now when you look you can see that the mouth is moving. And you can also see that I have a volume indicator down here you can whisper and the mouth will just move it a little bit or you can speak really loud and if you look the mouth opens really really wide so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record when you are ready to record your voice into your blabber you're going to click this button with the red circle after you are done and you want to listen to what you've recorded you're going to click this arrow so I'm just going to really quickly record something into the blabber Hi, my name is Dominic. I'm a three and a half month old baby and I really enjoy spending time with my family. So now I click the blue arrow. Hi, my name is Dominic. I'm a three and a half month old baby and I really enjoy spending time with my family. Depending on the amount of traffic that the website has, sometimes playback isn't instantaneously, so don't worry. It might take them a couple of minutes to go ahead and play it back for you. If you are happy with the way that your blabber is, again, you would click the blue arrow. If you made a mistake or you're not happy with it, go back and click the red circle again and it, and it will automatically let you record again. You don't need to worry about deleting anything. Um, and as always, if you went after you're done recording, go ahead and click this arrow and it will play it back for you. I'm happy with the way it is, so I'm going to click the blue arrow. And you can listen to it one more time just to double check. And again, depending on the traffic, might take it a little bit longer to to play back Hi, for you. Hi, my name is Dominic. I'm a three and a half month old baby, and I really enjoy spending time with my family. So I'm happy. I'm going to click OK, and you can go back and you can edit it if you need to, or you can make another one. But I'm going to click Save. I'm going to give my blabber a title: Dominic, the three month old. Baby, I'm going to give it a description. Dominic speaking for everyone. And it likes you to have tags, so I'm going to put baby Dominic, three month old. And then this is where you choose if it's private, where you don't want it to show up on anybody else's page or mature and be really really careful if you decide that you want to put something up here that's objectionable because and you don't click mature you could get in trouble I'm going to click private just because I don't want my kids pictures to, or my this one to show up on other people's because you know it's my kid and it's kind of a sample one but I have before the other ones that I've made you can actually go and you can see on my website I'm going to click save and it is saving it and it directs you back to this page and this is where you can share it with other people you can like your own video you can want this on video and the, then the cool thing is that when you click on this 
and it allows you to download it at this moment. It is free. I don't know how long that's going to last. You can go back and you can edit what you've said or what you've titled it. You can delete the video or you can object and this is where if you're going around and you're looking at blabbers and you find out that one of the blabbers is one that should not be out there, you click object and it will send it to the Blabberize website. And this is where you can post a comment to your blabber. And this is where you can watch it again just to make sure you really like it. When you are done, you can go and you can browse through people's blabbers. You can go back to make another one or you can go back to my stuff. And when you click on my stuff, there is the blabber that you just made. So you have made your first blabber or maybe you've made a couple of blabbers. But go back, practice some more. It's a lot of fun and I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for your time.